Hey guys, so today we are talking about how to earn 2.4 million airline miles. I reply to every single comment you guys leave and this is actually an answer to one of your guys' questions. If you have your own question you'd love me to answer in a video like this, drop it down below. And you know, I talk a lot about traveling the world for free and it's really easy if you have 2.4 million miles. But the fact is, I started out just like you guys. I had zero airline miles, I didn't know anything about flight hacking, but I took certain steps to get up to this 2.4 million miles. And today I'm gonna to walk you through 11 easy steps that you can take to earn miles in your account right now. Hey guys, my name is Andrew Wise and I'm with Life Tailored and we teach you how to travel the world for free. If you want to see how far points and miles can take you, then follow us on Instagram at Life Tailored. And to make sure you never miss any of our amazing credit card life hacks, then subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and check out our new video coming out this coming Monday. But now let's get started and talk about how to earn 2.4 million airline miles using these simple 11 steps. So number one is credit card signup bonuses. So this is the easiest and it's the first thing that I actually did. There are a ton of credit card offers out there that earn you between 25,000 up to 100,000 credit card points just for signing up and hitting a minimum spend. I just did a video talking about the top signup bonuses of 2019 and right now the current top cards are the Chase Inc. Business which is earning 80,000 points on sign up, the Amex Platinum, which has got 75,000 points. And in general, when it comes to sign up bonuses, I had another question about when is the right time to sign up for these bonuses? When do I pull the trigger and actually get the credit card? And the best time to do it is when a new card is launched. So the Chase Sapphire Reserve, when that card was launched, they offered 100,000 points on sign up. That offer is gone, long gone, you're probably never gonna see that again. The current bonus for the CSR is 50,000 points. So if you missed that original 100,000 signup bonus, your best time to sign up is gonna be whenever the current highest signup bonus is. So right now the Chase Sapphire Preferred is offering 60,000 points, which is the current highest signup bonus for that card. Same thing goes for the Chasing Business. Amex Platinum sometimes has 100,000 points, but in general, when you're looking at signup bonuses, the thing I like to do is I Google um, the card name and then the signup bonus and then see what it was at launch. And then pretty much if you can get close to what it was at launch, then you know this is gonna be one of the best times to sign up. And you never know when these bonuses do disappear, so make sure to sign up for them. When you see that bonus, just get it, get approved, and then get the points. Now there is a caveat. For these signup bonuses, if you sign up for say three or four cards all in one day, you're gonna have to meet minimum spend. So the minimum spend can be between four and $5,000 per card, which is a lot of money to spend in three months. So make sure that when you apply for that card, you have a plan to spend that money to get the minimum bonus. And if you guys wanna support the channel and wanna see more videos like this, I've got a link down below, which is our unique credit card signup link. And we also have the links on the website, lifetailor.com. Thank you guys in advance. It helps us support the channel, create more videos and stay motivated to get new content to you every Monday. So bridging on that point about hitting the credit card minimum spend second step is going to be to prepay for services you know you're going to already spend money on and you can pay in advance and possibly get a discount so if you need to spend five thousand dollars to meet a minimum spend one thing you could do is buy a five thousand dollar amazon gift card it may seem like a lot but if you spend money on amazon like i do i know i'm going to run through five thousand dollars at least by the end of maybe this month, but probably by the end of the year. Other services I love prepaying for are Uber, where you can get actually 5% off any future rides you take. Cleanly, another app I reviewed up here, it's an on-demand laundry service. You actually get 15% off laundry, which basically makes it a break even or a wash. No pun, in, or maybe there's a pun there. Um, so you can save 15% off by outsourcing your laundry, and it might be a net effective cost for doing your laundry yourself or if you don't even have a washing machine. So look around, try to find services that you already use and can prepay for, and that's another way to hit minimum spend and also just rack up points. So the third uh, tip or step is to use plastic to pay your rent. So it's P-L-A-S-T-I-Q.com. I've got a link down below, and basically what this allows me to do is any bill that I get that doesn't accept credit cards, I can use a credit card to pay it. So I pay a lot of my invoices using plastic, for a lot of my merchants and everything, as well as my rent, utility bill, and any other service that doesn't accept credit cards. They have a full list of all the services that you can try out. And when you sign up using my link, you get $500 off your first purchase with Plastic. Number four tip is to register with an airline dining program. So American, United, Southwest, Delta, they all have these dining programs. 
And what they do is, once you sign up for them, for every restaurant you dine at, you're gonna get one extra point per dollar you spend. So you can only sign up for one. I recommend signing up for Alaska or American Airlines. I'm putting the links down below so you can sign up for each of them. But basically what you wanna do is, sign up for the program. They all have kind of an intro bonus where once you sign up and you spend $25, you're gonna get around 1,000 points. You may have to spend $30 or $20 or something like that, but pretty much they all offer 1,000 bonus points just for signing up and shopping at a restaurant, for dining at a restaurant. Now the restaurants they have are actually pretty expansive. We went to a steakhouse last week, El Almacen. It's a tiny one location steakhouse here in Williamsburg and we got bonus points for dining there. They also have major brands like Hooters, Heartland Brewery. They've got the Brandy Library in New York City, which is a great brandy whiskey experience. It's actually a bar, so I'm surprised they're on there. But most likely, if you put in your zip code, you're gonna find a ton of restaurants all around you and you get bonus points. So if you're spending with the Chase Sapphire Reserve, you're gonna get 3x points on that dining, plus an extra point towards American, United, Delta, Southwest, etc. Remember, it's just one airline program, so just sign up for the one you want. The reason I like Alaska and American is it's hard to get those points. So if I can get them through a dining program, it's a great way for me to get bonus points for them. So the fifth tip is learning to maximize your credit cards and use them to get bonus points on purchases that you make routinely. So my first example is the Chase Inc. business card. It earns 3x points on internet, cable, shipping, and also online advertising. But basically, if you have a phone, which pretty much everyone does, you should be using the Chase Inc. business to pay that bill because you're getting 3x points. It's a waste to use your CSP, your CSR, or pretty much any other card to pay that bill where you're not getting bonus points. You should apply the same mentality when you're paying for gas. You use a travel card because you can get two, three, whatever the card bonus category is. But main thing is look at the cards you have, look at the bonus categories, and make sure that you're spending within those bonus categories so you never miss out on a single point. So the sixth tip is adding authorized users. So this can really work if you have family members who are maybe paying cash we're not old enough to have their own credit card. You just give them a Chase Sapphire Reserve and then every time they go out to buy gas or go out to eat, they use your card. Now, I don't really like this tip because then you become a bill collector and every month you have to look at their bill and ask them, hey, can you pay me back? But some people love you know, going through that spreadsheet and finding every last cent they can get. And this is just another way to get extra points without you spending any additional money. So the seventh tip is to always use an online shopping portal when you make a purchase. So I use the Chase Ultimate Rewards portal every time I buy an iMac Pro or a new iPhone or a new iPad or pretty much any other Apple product. I get one X point and that's an additional point that I'm getting just for shopping and buying stuff that I'm already gonna purchase. When I would use my Chase Sapphire Preferred, for example, to go in and buy from the Apple Store directly, I miss out on those points. So whenever you're buying anything online, always look for either the Chase Portal, Alaska has one, JetBlue actually used to offer points for shopping on Amazon, but that was so lucrative that they shut it down. Now, if a merchant isn't in one of these online shopping portals, the other thing you can do is use a cashback portal like Ebates. So Ebates is, is a great cashback portal where as long as you click through the Ebates site and go to purchase something, you're getting cash back. Macy's offers 12% cash back. Amazon offers up to 5% cash back. Verizon Fios offers up to $135. Remember, if you're buying from Fios, use the Chase Inc. business to get 3x points. And Gillette offers 12% cash back. So Gillette's another great opportunity to prepay for razors, where if you're shaving, or even if you're shaving like me down here, you need those razors every month. So prepay for those, hit the minimum spans, and get 12% cash back. If you wanna check out Ebates, you get $10 for free. Use my link down below, it's a referral link. You're gonna get 10 bucks, I'm gonna get 10 bucks. Everyone wins, everyone's happy. And just real quick, as we go through these tips, let me know down in the comments, which one is your favorite? Which one do you want me to expand upon? Which one do you plan on using? So the eighth tip is when you're through dining out with friends, pick up the bill. So this is another bill collector situation, but it should be a lot easier. So give your card to the waiter, waitress, um, Venmo your friends, split the bill and then do a Venmo request. This can be pretty quick because you can get Venmo payments instantly and you can also nag your friends if they don't pay you immediately on Venmo. But it's just one other way to get extra points, especially 3x points when travel and dining. I wouldn't suggest trying to pick up the bar tab because your friends will probably be too drunk or uh, having a good time to pay that bill. So the ninth tip is 
using the refer a friend program in each of your credit cards. So different credit cards offer a refer a friend to get bonus points. I know the Amex Bonvoy does this as well as some of the Chase cards. And basically what you do is if you refer a friend, you're gonna get 25,000 to 50,000 bonus points for them to sign up for a credit card. Now we already have our own unique credit card link down below, so please use that to support the channel. But since you're watching this video and you're probably one of the smartest people in your friends group or in your community, use a referral link and put it on travel videos on YouTube. So there are a ton of travel vlogs, travel inspiration videos where people are traveling and they're probably not maximizing points and they're not getting free trips using credit card points. So you can go into the comments, suggest a tip, maybe one of the 11 I have here about how to maximize points and miles and say, hey, if you wanna maximize your points, use my referral link blah, 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 and then you have a new audience and you're getting referral signups. So the key here is trying to find an audience that isn't aware of credit card points that you can introduce to them and then you get are the beneficiary and you get those referral points. So the 10th tip is spending money on advertising and getting 3x points on it. So both the Amex Gold and the Chase Inc. business earn 3x points on online advertising spend. It counts towards Google Ads, Facebook, Instagram, any sort of online advertising channels like that. When I first started out with credit card points, I wasn't doing any online advertising spend and I wasn't getting 3x points on anything. Today I'm spending fifty, dollars $100,000 a month on online advertising and it's one of the main ways I've gotten 2.4 million miles. But that doesn't mean that you can't figure something out for yourself. I started up from zero, didn't have a business that was doing any online advertising spend. So if you want to get into online advertising and perhaps running your own side hustle business, there are a ton of different ways to do it. I've got a video here that walks through step by step how to go from zero to 2.4 million miles in advertising spend. And it's a fun way to just kind of have a side hustle. My original job was boring me. I couldn't wait to get out of there. And every night I would come home and start this side hustle. Anybody can do it. It just takes hard work, dedication, and the ability to learn. And if you're watching this video, you're learning something new. So I think you can do it. Check out the video. Let me know what you think on that video or on this video. Happy to be there as a resource to help you get started. So the 11th and final tip is to buy airline miles when they're on sale. So this is not a tip I suggest for everyone. It's a very particular situation you're in where buying airline miles or hotel miles actually makes sense for you. So I'll give you an example. We're going to Art Basel this coming December and we're looking up hotel prices. Normally we stay at the Plymouth Miami Beach and it costs around $200, $300 per night, which is actually cheap for Miami Beach. But right now for Art Basel, the price is about $900 a night. So what we normally do is stay at the W Miami Beach and use points. So staying at the W Miami Beach costs $1,600 per night. But if I redeem for points, it costs 85,000 points, which is the equivalent of about 1.87 cents per point. Okay. Well, Marriott actually had a Bonvoy mileage sale or Bonvoy point sale a couple months ago. And I could buy points for 0.0094 cents each. That's basically 50% off. So since we're staying at our Basel, we know the prices are already astronomical. Instead of paying $1,600 per night, I could pay about $750 per night. So obviously this is a lot of money to spend on a hotel room, but since we're going and we already have to spend that money, at least I'm going to get a discount on it. So the same rule applies where you may be spending $300 on a hotel room, but you can get it for 150. That's why buying airline points or buying hotel points at a discount makes sense. So also, if you're gonna fly internationally and you wanna fly on Singapore Suites class, that flight costs $8,000, but can redeem for 86,000 points. If I can buy points for one cent or two cents each and redeem them for eight cents, I'm making six cents per point to get that flight. Again, this is a very rare situation where you wanna spend extra money to get that business or first class flight, but it's something I do, it's something other people do, so I wanted to mention it to you guys and use it, and basically your mileage won't, may vary, but it's another tip, it's another way to get 2.4 million miles. The one thing to say, if you do go ahead and buy those points, use a card that's gonna earn bonus points on travel. So use the Chase Sapphire Reserve to get 3x points, but make sure that when they're selling the points, it's coming directly from the airline. I believe when American Airlines has a sale, they give you the 3x point discount, but if you're buying when it's through points.com, you're not gonna get any bonus points there. If you do wanna get bonus points through points.com, use a card like the Chase Freedom, it's gonna get 3x points on your first $20,000 in spend, so you're getting bonus, plus you're getting that discount, and that brings down your cost per point, allows you to redeem and get more miles for your buck. So let me know down below, which of these tips is your favorite? Which one do you want me to expand upon? Which one do you plan to employ? I'd love to help you guys and possibly create another video just like this. Now, if you want to learn how to actually redeem these 2.4 million points, watch my playlist over here. It's got tons more 
amazing credit card hacks, how to redeem points for first class, business class, economy class all around the world. And follow us on Instagram at Life Tailored to see how far points and miles can take you. We just got back from Lisbon, France, and the south of France, all using points and miles. And finally, subscribe to the channel. I've got a new life hack coming out this Monday, and I'll see you guys on Monday.